Only 10 months into the job here and I think we finally have our last window. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. What we're going to do is pull this one out. <clears throat> this one that they sent us, it was defective. You may remember from a previous video, the sides are really bowed. It's actually bowed out this way, okay, like convex, but it's supposed to be flat. So we're going to jerk this thing out. I've got the replacement right here. And I'm only, I'm only hoping at this point that it is not damaged or... Uh, deformed or made improperly or any of those kinds of things so uh let's just do it right now we can all find out together what's what's going to be the state of things and uh if it's good we're going to install it if it's bad i'll probably lose my cool okay so far so good so far so good okay wow all right, I'm I'm not sad yet. What do you think, Ray? I think it looks pretty good, I think this good, one dude. looks totally reasonable. All right, okay, it's great. Let's put it in. You this know, it's like, uh, what's the movie we always talk about? Groundhog Day. You wake <laughs> up and everything's the same every day and you can't, you know. Uh, great movie, by the way. Anyway, so, hey, this thing's going in and um, I'm excited about that. We're going to do does the trim. Does it look good? Did you it check does. it out? I mean, I did a uh, preliminary inspection. It looks good. It looks straight. I'm, I'm saying it's going to be good enough to install. So I'm happy about that. We already have the interior window trim unit made. Oh, so it's all going to happen. So boom, like right slap now. this in, boom, slap that in. And it's going to go from what you see now to like actually being finished in, I think only about 10 minutes. That's exciting. It could anyway, unless something goes wrong. <laughs> get too excited because we got two more bathrooms to go but we just put all of the hardware on all of the walls uh, like the towel bars the toilet paper holders the towel hooks the other towel hook everything hit a stud every screw or blocking so I'm trying not to get excited yet but I am excited we'll let you know how it goes after yeah. the next bathroom. <laughs> yeah. hit a stud again that's like 10 for 10 Dude, Dirk Tiger Woods hitting fairways. Yeah, so, <laughs> that'd be like four for 10. We got this last towel bar and if we hit it, we will have done the miraculous. <laughs> so it doesn't seem miraculous, but I'm amazed. up these screws a little bit you figured you get the screw nibber guy figured you get the guy with the nubbins to do the nibbins <laughs> is that what you're getting at no we're back on track here i gotta say this is the longest time period we've ever been on one job on this house and this is not the biggest job we've ever done this is not even near the biggest house ever but it's the longest job time period now i think i'm hoping at least that the next job that we're going to do is going to be the smallest we've ever done of a, f a full house build and i and i hope it'll also be the quickest like yeah, i'm thinking i'm thinking we're going to set a record here on total like start to finish job time of two Good. months three months i mean i i thought three that's 90 days yeah. i think you know if you can get a fiance in 90 days you can build a house <laughs> in 90 days <laughs> okay all right cut <laughs>
know, dude. That one, I was going so slow, and all of a sudden it went boom, and just suck it. It's real close. Power's nothing without control. But it's got the fine tip, so it starts where you want it to. Yeah. Yeah, and you can steer it around a little bit. If you it start a little cool. off, you can steer it. I don't know if it's worth it or not. It's steerable. It's, it's dangerous. Okay. Not recommended. <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't have any problems with it. I just did a bunch of them. I did a bunch of them, too. One, I have one. It's covered, don't worry. I don't know. So a lot of people would say, why the heck am I not doing this with some sort of jig that you can buy off the internet that'll mark the holes right where you need them without any thinking? And the reason is I can do this super fast and I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. The way we're doing it, I'm just aligning my square right here with the top of this style, mark an inch and a quarter, a dot, which is halfway across this rail. And then I'm simply going from there and marking three inches up, which would be five and a half. And that's it. So I don't know that clamping some sort of jig on there would be any faster at all. What do you think? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I like this just yeah. fine. Speed Square can do a lot of things. Is that aluminum? Okay. Uh, it's painted. Yeah, okay. that's a good question. Yeah, aluminum one would potentially put these black scuff marks all over the cabinet. I am generally... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for looking out. There well, I'm go. usually opposed to a plastic speed square because it's kind of cheesy. Yeah. But actually, it'd be good here so you don't drag marks across the cabinet. Yeah. And finish. But I'm, I'm thinking this is a painted. Now, it might seem pretty straightforward just to <laughs> vacuum everything up, right? Wrong. It's not. It's not as simple as you think. First of all, I got the vacuum outside of the kitchen. I'm dragging the hose in here. I'm absolutely certain that I'm not gonna drag the hose across the corner of a cabinet and scratch a cabinet. I'm being very careful about that. Also, when I vacuum on a counter, I hold my hand like a little guide so the tip of the vacuum never touches the counter. When I vacuum here on the face of the cabinet, I hold my finger underneath it so that the tip of the vacuum never touches the face of the cabinet. And when I go inside like this in a drawer, I always take my other hand and I hold the hose up high out of the way and I slide my finger against the cabinet. See the wrap around, the hose loop around. You see that right there? Who would have thought there was so much to know? This never touches a cabinet, it never touches a counter, and neither does the hose. I would almost say you wouldn't even trust anybody else to even vacuum a kitchen that we built. I mean, hey. How could you hire someone to build it when you can't even trust well, someone the to vacuum is, it? Well, the problem is, here's the problem, here's the problem. <laughs> All right. I've never vacuumed anything. <laughs> When, let's say there's a new guy. We'll just give the new guy a job that's not very important, like vacuuming. Wrong. It's not a not important job. There is not a not important job that could be yeah, or should be done. Yeah, because if you freaking screw up the whole edge of every one of these cabinets while you're vacuuming, there's a $10,000 repair. Thank you very much. Come paint all the cabinets again. So how much you pay for the new guy? <laughs> Wait a minute. He knows the operator. You remember the vacuuming tip, right? I caught him vacuuming. <laughs> Where's the blocking? Isn't the red light supposed to go on when you hit blocking? Yes. Okay, you're probably not gonna wanna hear this, but I'm being serious. I don't remember putting blocking in this wall. Huh. I didn't think about it. The shower's on this side. So when you get out of the shower, <laughs> where are you gonna get it out? Maybe you do it over here. I don't know. You know, we should. I usually take a picture of stuff, but, oh. Oh. That seems That's awful. something. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Not real raggy. <laughs> So I've got this all marked here, and I actually had a moment where I thought I should stop and let Jamie do this. I mean, that's my first thought. <laughs> but I think I can do it just as good, so I'm just gonna do it. I need the wrong purpose doing that. Great. So wow. it misses. Now I'm gonna just patch that back over so stuff doesn't fall down through there at the, out the bottom. Be like, where's my spatula? <laughs> so he's missing. Hi, you see the spoon? <laughs> This video is brought to you by Element and I'm really excited to be partnering with them again because it's my go-to electrolyte drink mix on hot summer days like today. We're about to go biking.
If you didn't already know, replenishing your electrolytes is super important and super important for me for all the activities I like, like working out, having an active lifestyle, or having a couple glasses of wine. Hey bud, watermelon or grapefruit? Oh, I'll take watermelon. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix, and I would say very tasty even. I really like it. And it has everything you need and nothing you don't. That means lots of salt and no sugar. It contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio, 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. It's also perfectly suited to folks following a keto, low-carb, or a paleo diet. I'm losing electrolytes just standing here. That's right? pretty hot. It is really hot. So Element can help prevent or even eliminate headaches, muscle cramps, fatigue, sleeplessness, and other common symptoms of electrolyte deficiency. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. And this is a great way to try all eight flavors or just to share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash Perkins and this deal is only available through my link. You must go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Perkins. Thanks to Element for sponsoring our video and let's get back to work. It's cleanup day. We're trying to get everything out of here and I was gonna throw this window unit away. You might think, why, why would you do that? Uh, this one is defective. It's been replaced by a new one. The window company does not want this back because what are they gonna do with it? Nothing. Uh, so I was ready to thrash and bash this thing, chuck it in the <laughs> trash trailer. A little bit, a little bit of like maybe stress relief, you know, with the whole window situation. Uh, but Eric suggested that we keep the sliding panel. This part actually matches. It's, fine. it's the same size as other windows in the house. So it would be best and be responsible of us to take this out and save it for the homeowner. If they ever get a broken window and it happens to be this particular one, hey, they got a free spare. You are welcome, guys. You're welcome, You Eric. are welcome. Okay, thanks, all that. I just wanted to break <laughs> something. So we're gonna break the other part though, I think. We could do a little durability testing, right? Yeah, and there's um, a whole YouTube channel based on this premise. Yeah. Uh, how ridiculous. How ridiculous. My uh, kids love it. Uh, they're they're they in Australia, break... right? Mate, isn't it I don't Australia? Know. They throw stuff off of dams and break stuff. So let's, yeah. let's break the other part because we can't. Bring out Rexy. Rexy. Yeah, Rexy. Rexy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you yeah. watch it too. Oh, I love it. It's a good channel. Get a good look at the uh, cross section right there and see how it's built. That's that's kind of neat. Hmm. That's a lot of little it's, uh, it's ex extruded there. Okay. Yep. Let's try the uh, the javelin test. You know, like hurricane uh, wind. Thunk. All right. Test right. number one. Javelin. Okay. Oh! 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 <laughs> that is not hurricane proof. And okay. you also jabbed me right in the <laughs> yeah, neck. <you> <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, staying clear. Oh my god. All right, <laughs> well, let's uh, your neck out of this window. Wow, that actually it broke a little. Holy cow. A little quicker than I thought. I didn't think it would break. Yeah, I thought we'd get to. I hit. mean, there have been windows we've tried to break on purpose before. With like hammers. Yes. And they didn't break to you, like really smack. I was actually really scared hitting a window with a hammer, but you can hit them pretty hard before yeah, they break. But, but this, um, this, uh, I don't know. Hmm. It went right through there. Good throw. Thanks. Fun's over. Now we gotta load the trash. Back to work. Okay. I feel like we always get this nostalgic feeling as we're packing out, we're finishing a house again like we've been doing for years. And it always reminds me of when we used to do this with our dad and we would pack out. He had a single cab, long bed truck, and we would put everything. I'm telling you, everything. Ladders, walkboards, saw horses, all of our tools, whatever scraps we were gonna keep. Yeah in the truck and I always would think there's no way. No, there's no way. I always there's wanted no it's to just fit. stop yeah. loading stuff. And, and we like, can, let's come back. We can come back but and get another load. Not an option. You know what it looked like? Have you seen that the cartoon movie, The Grinch uh, Stole Christmas? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and like when he stole <laughs> yeah. all the presents and it was on the back yeah. of the sleigh. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was like. I was always like so embarrassed to even be in the truck with him at Yeah, that going through time. town, you're just like, just like okay, this. Nobody, like, I hope nobody, nobody knows none this. of my friends see me as a teenager going through town with this truck oh, stuff well. stacked eight feet higher than the cab. And we didn't have trailers. There was no trailers. Yeah. So anyway, we're, we're uh, making multiple loads with trailers here and kind of working our way out of here as opposed to the good old days where we just burn the trash. We don't do that anymore. Actually, we never did that. Our dad. That's he, right. He loved to burn the huge heap of trash, which is illegal. 
Something about a 50-foot flame that just yeah. catches his attention. <laughs> yeah. So oh, well. um, we're almost out of here. Guys, this is LP, GS, and F, and they're gonna film us putting this last bit of siding on the house for all of their outlets and the inspectors here, <laughs> right there. Um, and so we're, we might be getting a CO momentarily, or we might not. Look at all the snacks they brought. You distract them, I'll grab snacks. <laughs> I don't think they care about that. That's pretty good spread. How do the experts in shades complement each other? And then just kind of talking about consistency and paint jobs and okay. adding time to schedule for painting. Uh, and we'll read these prompts to you too, so you don't have okay. to memorize your answers, but just kind of be thinking about the benefits that you think of right away with pre-finished siding. And then we can kind of go into what is Gordon Batten style. And you want us to call it Gordon Batten or Batten over panel? We call it Gordon Batten style siding. Okay. Technically. Just as a general. Technically. Okay. Yeah, that's what we have to like put in all of our stuff. Uh, do we pass or no? Uh, uh, we have we have a list of things. I was hoping maybe he would notice all the siding missing because that actually is required. Can you believe that? You believe it is that required? Happened? Yes, it's required. All right. <laughs> anyway, he noticed, so we got to finish it. Uh, a couple other things, a couple of lights that aren't hung. Uh, the gutter downspout drains have yeah. to be piped away from the house. Okay, that's, and, I didn't know uh, that was code now. Okay, yeah. Uh, we're going to do that. Sort of a temporary setup. The homeowner's going to have them dug in later permanently. We have to have it temporarily away. All right, we'll get in here. They're literally right. Okay, no, well, you. I mean, you asked me. I mean, <laughs> what is that? We've been looking at it for a long time. That's how I, hey, listen, I won't say how, how long. How big of an SD card do you have? All right, okay. all, day. all day. All right, he's ready. Yeah, okay, I'm ready too. Well, we finally finished our job and we got Jamie something, his very own Perkins Builder Belt. If you're interested, as I alluded before, they are for sale. Uh, they come with a suspension system as well as the belt and the pouches. It's all modular. We're going to show you that. And they're about half the price of the other premium tool belts that you can buy. I love it. And let's get Jamie set up. I'm actually super glad to upgrade. The one that I've been using is modified actually by me because I didn't love the way it was before, but it's still just huge and bulky on one side and the straps that I've been buying, they break like once a year at least and they're really sharp and jab you in the hips. So I'm excited that this is gonna be more comfortable and more slim design so that I don't bump into stuff all the time. Like that note I wrote you? That's really sweet of you. There's more, just keeps on giving. There's the belt. All right, that's the belt itself. All right, there's the uh, suspension there with magnet looking forward to that all right well let's get it set up exactly how you like it all right all right all right oh one more thing what is this the first and most important tool of the carpenter here we say every tool is the most important tool actually <laughs> i think the most important tool is the hammer no the phone no the whatever so i know you prefer the hammer on the right but do you I prefer do. the tape measure on the right or left well it's been on the left for 20 years. You better keep it left or you're gonna be all messed up. I don't know though. I tried your belt and it was on the right. It was kind of nice. I like it on the right. So right now the hammer sleeve is attached to that side. We're gonna take it off and put it on your right side. That's right. Yeah. Cause so. that is the tape pouch. Slap it back on there. Now let's see about this. Oh wow. Super attachment. <laughs> Holy moly, okay. Hammer's in a good position there, like that. You got a chalk box. You look so different now. I can't believe, I can't believe how different what? you look. Is that good You look or so bad? put together. It's like you're wearing a tuxedo. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You look so dressed up. 
You gotta look the part you if you're gonna. Boy, that just wore his dad's suit for the first time. <laughs> I mean, he did have the mangiest belt out there. For sure. <laughs> really? How can you look at that thing, dude? <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. So if you want to run Speed Square on your left side, that has a fold for that right there. All if right. you want to. I'm going to try it. You I'm like speed on left. I'm used to it. So, but I mean, everything it might shift around a little bit. It'll take me a little while to get used to it, but it's all right. Tape measure. Tape measure. Fat yeah. Max. Fat Max 25 feet, American feet. <laughs> and it is. goes right in there. It is. That, that was is. actually designed to go in and out. Now, that's what, that's what I was really wondering. Most people don't, you know, have the robot fingers. But yeah. Can I get it out easily? And that's the question. And, and yes, so far it's fine here. So that's nice. One here, I gotta at least sharpen it, you know, because it can't oh, be. Does he got a spot for pencil? I'll get that it does, but I he, hope it does. I hope he's got a spot for a broom in there. That's why I'll get that later. <laughs> I got a guy for that. Right there. Knife, it's good, fits good. It's in there secure, but it's, it's also easy to get out, out of the way. Pencil, all right. Pencils. Where do we put well, pencils? Well, I do a pencil pro pull thing here. Oh, you do the pencil uh, pull. But otherwise, you got pencils here. All right. If you're if you're not going to do the pencil pull pro, which I I haven't gone over to the dark yeah. side yet, but um, <laughs> I'll double stack here. We'll go double. I might try the pencil pull pro. I think Ray got one for me. You still you got that away. thing? I like it. You gave it away. Who'd I give it to? It oh, All right. What else we got? Chisel. Mm. Now, I don't know where my normal chisel is, but I got this one. And you can see it's really sharp. Okay. And, this is uh, uh, reinforced with plastic so that you won't cut the bottom of your belt off. That's good. I remember the old days back when we worked for Dad, and, you know, we just all had, like, our chisels hanging out the bottom of the pouch. <laughs> like, right beside your leg all day, every day. Well, Dad never had a sharp chisel, so it probably didn't matter to him, but I, I like a sharp chisel. A Jamie bit. never makes mistakes and doesn't carry a cat's paw, he said, so... He's going to put his torpedo there. I, I run my cat's paw on that. Well, look, see, I got this little screw thing. That's, not, a, that's fine. Not all levels have You don't that. need a cat's paw. I don't have to explain. I, get it. I know, but I'm, that might work great for me right there. I'm going to try it. Bits right there. Got that one. I don't know what that is. Little drill bit. Keep you right there. T30. Got to have it. And the pouch that is for that. Look at that. There it is. Now, they don't fall out, see? You don't have to put them there. You can put them in here, but they're deeper in the pouch. Yeah. So. I like being able to grab them and see what you have. Reload, draw. Yeah. Look how slim that is, though. I mean, it only sticks out like three inches from the side of your body. That is nice. And this one is like wide mouth. This is like big mouth bass territory. <laughs> I mean, the first one is big enough, then the second one. Yeah, I can't um, do that. So, you know, and it's only one giant pocket really in there. Um, so That's for carrying everything, and I don't think it's a good idea to carry everything. Well, it all goes in there in one pouch, and it's just all in your way. Lastly, I uh, load you up with some GRKs right um, here. I'm convinced the modern carpenter has to have a pouch full of screws. I mean, I don't and know. that's about all you need. You don't need like 14 pounds of nails in no, your pouch anymore. I got a box I can keep in the truck and just keep some on me when I need them. Um, what about a drill? Let's see. Yeah, get your drill. Get I want to point out a couple of design things that I personally had put on this belt is the phone holder with no flap so that you can take speakerphone calls right here or listen to music right there in your ear without blasting everybody else. And then that's for your ear protection or your AirPods so that they're always with your belt because you always need ear protection when you're running power tools. Where's your AirPods? I don't have AirPods. <laughs> I'm not up with all I have the... so many sets of AirPods. I'll give you some. I really literally don't own one pair of AirPods. Wow. Well, you can put regular, just coil them up. That's what I'm going to do. Ear protection in there. I, I'm going to put them right there. Also, I'm a huge fan of the Cobra style buckle. It holds tight, clips easy, unclips easy, and you don't have to constantly resize your belt every time you put it on. Who's got time for that? There you go. You're all set up. Everything's... What was that? <laughs> Whoa! Thanks for checking out our video and our new tool okay. belt. We're also going to do other tools. Uh, we're just done designing this, and we're going to work on some other things. To get this, go to PerkinsBuilderBelt.com. There's a link down in the description. You can get your own. They do come in three sizes, and I think they run a little large. So if you're wondering about the size, go with the size down. Hope you guys have a great day. See ya. Let's go frame a house. Let's do it.